Hey everyone, Naveen here. Today's quick talk is on my journey towards AWS Certified Solution Architect. This was few years ago where I was starting to think, hmm, what is this cloud all about? AWS, Azure, Oracle Cloud, so on and so forth. As a professional, my exposure was always on the other side of infrastructure. And of course, there was always collaboration with them, but definitely not hands-on. As part of my professional introspection, and also an eye towards IT expansion, I always gathered that you know, cloud is something which is very important in the industry. Once I've decided that I'll give a go at AWS certification, I started browsing information through videos and blogs about AWS, of course, in bits and pieces. Then I started stitching together to have that story outline. I have researched multiple courses in LinkedIn, Udemy, Pluralsight, and of course, there were some great resources but I somehow latched onto this AWS Certified uh, Solution Acted Official Guide and I bootstrapped from zero and executed parallelly in AWS. Of course, the initial pace was very slow because of the obvious reasons, so I had to digest the basics. In addition, of course, I had a, a think tank with two members where I brainstormed the concepts as and when needed. In addition, I also had this habit of building the notes, uh, preparatory notes for each and every chapter where I wanted to understand during the revision all the concepts the way I perceived. With respect to timing, I have clocked in about five to six hours every day, maybe close to 35 to 40 hours per week. Now, of course, you might be asking, is that much time really needed? Maybe not, right? Uh, but the school of thought I was coming from is not just from certification standpoint, but also to understand the basics application of the concepts, uh, how it is kind of connected to my job accountabilities, how it impacts the companies who are investing into this cloud engagements. And if as a tech trainer, you know, if I have to have a dialogue with someone who is at a ground zero, what needs to be fed in to bring him or her up is something which I was thinking on. And so I had to put in that much of time. But if you purely ask uh, from a certification standpoint, I think two to three hours every day should be more than enough. Well, coming to the time taken with that schedule to complete this uh, study guide, it took me cover to cover, of course, with little less emphasis on security chapter, it took about 30 days. Of course, uh, this is in parallel to execution on AWS. From 31st to 45th day, I was hustling a lot. One was to complete this official study guide revision again, in parallel to refining the preparatory notes, which we have prepared earlier. And at the same time, I was also doing an exercise of uh, gathering information through videos and blogs on other certifications like developer, sysops, and professional. This kind of exercise is primarily for the reason uh, to encounter these complex questions during the exam, which might help me to think constructively and zero in onto the right solution. But of course, this is not mandatory, but this is something which I have done, right? Lastly, I have also prepared uh, a two hours preparatory final revision document. Uh, this is primarily for uh, the exam day or maybe the day before exam, which will cover the entire syllabus cover to cover in just two hours. With respect to exam, uh, during the 31st to 45th day, as I started pulling up confidence, then I went ahead and scheduled the exam on 60th day. As you know, with respect to this exam, if you found some questions on the internet, like sample questions, you cannot expect them to be replicated in the exam. That's the beauty of this exam, right? So that's where it will test your analysis to the core. So I went through in this 45 to 60th day, I went through all the sample questions because it, it kind of helped me to wrap my head around these questions, you know, how to go about a question, how to think constructively, and you know, zero in into the right uh, answer is something which I got used to with these sample questions. In addition, I did three-way track, like you know, going through the revision of preparatory notes of each and every chapter, going through the documentation of two hour final revision document which I prepared again, and also the documentation of other certifications like developer, professional, and sysops which I prepared, uh, prepared uh, just for the understanding of the concepts. Now come the exam day, Right, you know, initially when I started the exam, of course I had those jitters for the first five, 10 questions for obvious reasons. 
uh, I was feeling that you know these questions are pretty tough am I analyzing it correct you know that self doubt and you know those things were coming in but just just one moment of uh, trigger has come in that you know I have prepared so much I know I'm executing my strategy just trust the you know my abilities and go forward and that's all I kind of cruise through but of course the beauty of this exam is you will have five options in which two will be straight you will understand that these are not right but three will be very close and two will be absolutely similar with very minor difference now that's where your knowledge comes into picture and how you zero in into the right solution is something which will be tested and finally when you click that final submit button you might be thinking you know what could go you know will it go right i was not you know any exception as such so i also thought the same way but when i clicked it and i found that i have cleared that satisfaction was different not because i cleared the certification but because i could apply the knowledge which we have prepared upon certification i just thought you know i have so much of preparatory documentation with respect to this all chapters and this final revision document and other certification consolidation so i thought it will be helpful for you guys and i have put everything in a blog which is uh, rylanavin aws exam tips.wordpress.com i hope you find it useful all right that's pretty much i have with respect to this uh, aws certification hope it will be useful for you guys but saying so i just want to give you a reminder that you know no one is expert here but if you feel someone is expert then you can become one too i just request you to bring in that grind find the right partner right trainer and bring in that best version of you if so anything is possible for you guys that's pretty much i have for this episode i hope you liked it i'll catch you in the next one